All right, I'm going to show you the penalties of the sin of prostitution. Just like any sin in the Bible, prostitution has penalties that come along with it. And there were serious penalties that came with committing the sin of prostitution. So I'm going to give some examples of those penalties. So first of all, when Judah's daughter-in-law, Tamar, played the harlot, Judah demanded she be burnt. That is Genesis chapter 38, verses 20 to 24. Turn there in your King James Bibles. Genesis chapter 38, verses 20 to 24. And Judah sent the kid by the hand of his friend, the uh, sorry, Ab Abdul Amite, hope I'm saying that word right, to receive his pledge from the woman's hand, but he found her not. Then he asked the men of that place, saying, Where is the harlot that was openly by the wayside? And they said, There was no harlot in this place. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the men of this place said that there was no harlot in this place. And Judah said, Let her take it to her, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this kid, and thou hast not found her. And it came to pass about three months after that it was told Judah, saying, Tamar thy daughter-in-law hath played the harlot. And also behold, she is with child by whoredom. And Judah said, Let her bring her. Judah said, Bring her forth and let her be burnt. So when you have Tamar playing the harlot, and she brings a son out of harlotry, fornication, prostitution, adultery, whatever you want to call it, uh, there is a punishment of being burnt for that. And you see this again in the next scripture, in Leviticus chapter 21 and verse number 9. Because you have, if the daughter of an Israelite priest plays the whore, becomes a prostitute, then her penalty was being burnt. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse number 9. And the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father, she shall be burnt with fire. So there was a penalty of being burnt. And of course, fornication and adultery, which is what prostitution is, also carried the death penalty by stoning, if it wasn't the case of fornication or adultery. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verses 22 to 24. If a man be found lying with the woman married to her husband, uh, then they, they shall both of them die, both the man that lay with the woman and the woman. Thou shalt put away evil from Israel. If the damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then you shall bring them both out in, unto the gate of that city, and you shall stone them with stones, that they die. The damsel, because she cried not, bring in the city, and the man, because he hath humbled his neighbor's wife, so, shall, so thou shalt put away evil from among you. So, you have in the case of fornication or adultery, the harlot gets stoned to death. So, like all sin, prostitution has penalties that come along with it. Because sin doesn't just go along unpunished. Okay, the wicked should not be unpunished. Try to find the verse for that. Uh, because I want to make sure I have the right scripture references. That is, yeah, Proverbs 11.21. Uh, though, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but see the righteous shall be delivered. So, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Prostitution is a wicked sin. It's fornication. It's adultery in many cases, if the prostitutes are married. So, and sin is, does not go unpunished. God is a, is a righteous judge. He punishes sin. He orders sin to be punished. So, just, that, that just... Is the blat those are blatant examples of the sin of prostitution. They get burnt, or in the case of fornication and adultery, they get stoned to death. So, all sin is negative. All sin has consequences. So, you ought to stay away from that kind of stuff. You ought to live a. You ought to present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. You read about that in Romans chapter twelve, verse number one. Keep your body pure. So, anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.